Hello YouTube, this is DT Music 3 coming to you with a review of the Mika Slim HD Portable Digital Media Player. So as you can see, this is the front of the device, and right there it says Mika Slim HD of course. Right here is the power button, and the, uh, the indicator lights let you know if the device is on in standby mode or off. On the very front of the device is the IR receiver for use with the included remote control. And then right here it's the um, hard drive disk LED indicator light to let you know if the hard drive is connected or not. And then on the underneath of the device you got your um, HD player, some information made in China. And then on the very back of the device you got your AV out for your composite um, um, input to plug into your TV for regular um, SD standard def uh, video input. You um, got your HDMI output for uh, for HD um, video play playback and photo playback. Got your uh, mini USB 2.0 slash slash host um, input so you, can, so you can plug in your uh, camcorder or camera or whatever device that may be and and um, what's good with this, with this device is that it comes included with a, a USB 2.0 to mini USB 2.0 um, jack. So if your device doesn't come with um, a USB 2.0 input, you, it, it, it can the wire can convert it to a mini, so it'll so it can plug right into this device, which is great. Also, you got your DC 5.2 volt um, power jack, so you can plug in the device in order for it to work uh, and then on the other side of the device you got your uh, SD card slot so you can just take out your SD card from your camera or camcorder and plug it right into the side of the device so it's you don't have to plug it anything in you just plug in the SD card and it'll work right off the bat so that's good and if you notice here you got a screw right here a screw there a screw here and a screw here, and what that's for is that's for uh, putting your uh, to, you could, you could um, put in put in a hard drive, a 2.5 inch hard drive, into this device, and you could just you could just um, play your music or photos or videos right off the uh, the hard drive disc. And when I take this back off. See, you just you just put your uh, hard drive in here, and uh, put the cover back on. You just screw it. You just screw the included screws into the holes, and you got uh, you got your hard drive secured uh, in this uh, in this the device. All right, so let me put this back on. Okay. So let me let me point out a few things in this uh, review. I'm going to point out um, like the build quality, the ease of use, the playback quality, and and their the feature set, and their overall just overall quality of this product. So let me first start off with the build quality. As, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but hopefully you can tell that this is made of plastic. But this plastic is it's pretty pretty hard, so it's not gonna you know you're not gonna crack easily unless you really drop it from a, um, a from a big um, from a big drop. But it's not gonna crack. Um, it's, it seems pretty well made. You know, it's, it seems pretty sturdy. You're not gonna you know, it's not gonna break easily unless you uh, abuse it. So it's you know good good to uh, note. Um, the button seems, you know, the, the towel button seems, you know, sturdy. It seems like, you know, get a firm click when you, um, you know, when you push it in, which is, you know, you just, it just, you know, feels quality. Um, yeah, it just, it just, it just, you know, it looks good, and it, and it you know, just feels quality made. So, uh, the build quality, I would say it's pretty good. Also, let me do the, um, now let's do the, um, 
the, uh, the, the playback quality the playback quality on this device was was very good I mean I, I wasn't able to test it out in uh, HD input because I don't have an HD TV but I was able to test it out on a regular Def TV and I must say the photos look great the videos I play look great and the music sounded good so I mean the playback quality on this device is very very good you have no problems, you know, being able to view view your videos in good quality, and the video was crisp. Even in an S, you know, standard definition, the vi all the videos and photos look very crisp and clear, and of, and of great quality. So you yeah, have no problems being able to uh, view your, you know your photos and videos, and even hear your music. You know, you have, you have no problems with that. So that's, that's very good. Um, the, now let me get to the ease of use. The ease of use now of this, of, this, of this device was it was it was okay. I mean, I thought it would be better actually, because I actually plugged in my SD card into the slot, but it took multiple tries for for this device to read the SD card. I mean, it's not my SD card because the SD card I got was brand new. So, you know, I just thought that maybe I, I don't know, you know, what, what caused it, but it just took it just it just took um. You know, a lot of uh, tries first. You know, for the SD card slot to uh, for, SD, for the SD card slot to recognize the um, the SD card. Sorry, I done it the wrong way. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I thought the SD card reading could have been much better, but, you know, it is what it is. Alright, and also, when I plugged in my, um, my, cam my camcorder into the USB input, um, it, it didn't always read at first either. I, you know, maybe it just, it just took, like, took, took like a couple of tries for it to, uh, for it to work, but overall, it was much easier. The device, it was much easier for the device to read the USB input than the SD card input. So that's you know that's just important you know to note if you're going to be either plugging in your just SD cards or you're going to actually be plugging the device in directly to the uh, to your camcorder or cam camera or, or whatnot. All right. So and and also like a couple times too when I um. Like when I would be like be playing my videos or photos, the device would freeze up on me, um, and and when, and when I would freeze, I wouldn't be able to go back to the main menu. I just I would have to just totally power the whole thing off, and turn it back on again, for the device to uh, to reboot, to reboot again and not freeze up again. So that's that was a little a little you know annoying too that you know the device you know froze you know in, you know in the middle of a video, and also even. Even like even uh, outside of the of the video playback or photo playback, that um like I'll be in the main menu going through like my different photos and videos, just 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 like just like um scanning through them, and and the device will also freeze up then too. So I don't know what you know what causes you know, what you know what causes that with this device, but you know it's just important to note that it's not gonna be totally smooth. Like, it's probably be, you know, the playback, you know, the smoothness of the playback, you know, surfing through the menus and the videos overall, I would say it's average because of the, uh, the freezing problems. Alright, so now let me get to the, um, let me get to the, uh, the features. Feature, the features set on this device is very, very, it's very, uh, simple. It's slim, but it's supposed to be slim because it's a very simple device. You know, it plays all your photos, plays all your videos, plays your music, and that's about it. No extra bells and whistles with this device. It just, you know, you just plug in your, you know, camera or camcorder or, you know, your SD card for music or whatever it may be, and, and it'll play it. That's one thing that's right, it does, you know, it does well. It, it plays your, it plays, you know, your uh, media formats. So that's, you know, that's, that's good, of course. So, that, you know, it's a very simple device, so it does simple things, but it's supposed to be simple. So it's important. And also, the price is very simple, too. The price is only $50 for this device. So it's, uh, so it's you know, it's, it's good to note. You can maybe be able to get it for $40, but 
for the price is between forty and fifty dollars for this device, and um, that's that the price is very good as well. I mean, it's not that expensive. You can be, you know, breaking a bank to buy this device. And so overall, I would say for all the features and you know the little quirks I have with it, and oh, let me just mention before I before I um before I leave this video, that some quirks I had some more quirks I had with this device was that the included um, AV cord to plug into your TV was uh, was kind of short. So if you have, a, if you have a, big, a big old school TV and there's no input on the front of the TV might be a little bit of a problem for you to plug in this device and stay on deaf. Also, another quirk I had with this device was that there was no included HDMI um, cord. So if you want to just plug in HD, uh, to plug it into an HD TV and get an HD video and, and HD video out of it, you have to go out to your local electronics store and buy uh, an HDMI uh, jack. So that was a little down. That was, that was a downfall too for this device. And then we just see what else. Um, yes, another another uh, little problem I found with this device too was that for some reason at a time when I press the power button, it didn't always, didn't always respond. I got to have to press it multiple times for it to uh, for it to you know for it to read you know what I wanted it to do, like whether it be turning it off or turning it on or putting it in standby. So that could be, you know, it's it's very it's very minor, but it's just a little quirk I found too that the power doesn't doesn't always work the way it should. So, with that said, and everything I said previously mentioned, I'll give this advice probably seven seven and a half out of ten. All right, so guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos soon. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.